Today on All Things 80s, we're looking at the UK Star Wars Galaxy magazine. Or is it a comic? Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, as you may be aware, due to unfortunate circumstances, I find myself back in Scotland, back at my childhood home. Now, um, when I was out and about the other day, I happened to come across a rather interesting magazine slash comic, which is called Star Wars Galaxy. Now, this was very reminiscent of the sort of things I would get as a child, whereby the comics frequently came with a free gift. Uh, this one, however, comes with three free gifts and uh, the price on this and I have another one just give me one second I can't even find it though uh, yeah the price for this comic slash magazine is three pounds 99 so I suspect it's more a case of three pounds 99 buys you some toys and you get a free comic with it um, this one comes with First up is a puzzle, one of these classic, you know, steel ball bearings around a maze type puzzle. This they call uh, Boba Fett Fire Blaster, which I'm assuming fires out these sort of disc type things. And I do see on the back they have a Bounty Hunter uh, target with various uh, points for each different Bounty Hunter. And uh, also within the magazine itself, there is a double page of First Order stickers. So this is a great little um, package here. The, co uh, the magazine, I keep calling it a comic, but the magazine comic, blah, blah, blah. Um, this has, you know, a couple of, well, one big still image from the next movie. It also features a bunch of, uh, you know, how do we what do we call these puzzles for for younger 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 audience? It's a uh, spot the difference type puzzle. You know, two pictures look the same, but there are differences. Always enjoyed these as a child. Uh, this is a focus on Boba Fett, which is rather interesting. And uh, what's this? It's like a okay, it's like a, a crossword type puzzle. Uh, this I'm assuming is a poster because it has this sort of scissors mark. So uh, first in, last standing. So that's kind of cool. And going on, this is a guide to Jedi Knights. So I'm not going to go through every page here. Uh, we have an X-wing versus. SF TIE Fighter giving us, you know, it's like uh, top trump speed, uh, power, etc. And there is actually a comic strip. So we've got more, it's a crossword puzzle, uh, questions and things. So, uh, yeah, we do have a, a, an actual comic strip in here and it says, let me see, unfortunately, so this is called The Return of the Slavers. Um, when I was growing up, a slaver was someone who talked a lot of nonsense. But uh, I'm assuming this is not a standalone comic because this is in fact issue number five. So I'm assuming this was a continuation from the last issue. And uh, answers to the quiz. Uh, escape, oh, that's kind of cool. Escape from Hoth you have to like pick the correct way to go through this maze. Again, this is the exact thing I would have loved to have had as a child. However, um, the asking price of £3.99 is rather excessive for a not particularly thick comic and uh, some plastic toys and some stickers, but I do want to see what these galactic gadgets are all about so 
I want to open this carefully because I want to keep this in good this or as best condition as I can. Uh, probably tear it from here. It's coming off. Oh, spoke too soon. Just rip the the cardboard piece there. You know what? Let me. If I can get it off the edges, we'll be okay. So just bear with me. And like I said, this is issue number five, which according to the front here is on sale from. July 10 to August 6. So I arrived here two weeks ago. So I got this one and then this week This issue came out which we'll look at in just one moment. You know what? This is just cardboard ay, ay, ay. Good lord, I guess They're assuming that the kids are just going to rip the hell out of these. So anyway we have Starkiller base maze game and Boba Fett Fire Blaster. I'm just going to get these things opened. This is kind of like a trip down memory lane. It's like opening a figure almost. So, first up, the maze game. Um, I've had many of these things growing up. Uh, wow, this is fast. You know, it's, it's very, very, very. It's a simple concept, but it's not so easy to get the ball bearing into the center there. And we do have um, the resist uh, resistance X fighters. It, it's actually, you know what? It's more fun for me than I imagine it would be for a kid in 2019 who's used to Xbox, etc. I like this stuff, but this one is interesting. Um, I've no, there's no instructions with it that I can see. And these are why are these sticky? Oh, they're stuck together. It's just some tape. Okay, one, two. Right, this is there's more tape on this. This they call Boba Fett blaster, and it seems to come with a wrist strap, which you can see even though it's elastic, it's not meant for someone my size. But, I don't know how this works. Okay, that's the front. Okay, I see a button here. So anyway, I guess we load these up here. And they do have the copyright Lucasfilm Limited. So this is all official stuff. Uh, okay, am I doing? This is embarrassing. Is it one at a time maybe? Let's see. Or do you have to pull this? Hang on. Nope. Ah, got it. So I had to lock that back in place. Put one in, I guess. And if you imagine I had the tiny wrist and it was on my wrist. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. I was wondering. Ah, duh. We have. Uh, a lever back here which locks in place. I wonder if we can multiple load these. Let's see. So there's one in. Boom. And then go back. Wow. Excellent. Very nice uh, toy. Um, free gift. And like I said, we had this of target on the back, so again the scissor icon, so you cut this off, I guess you place it on the wall, and you aim at the various bounty hunters. Uh, although, why would they have Boba Fett shooting himself, but who cares? So this was ep uh, episode, the issue number five, rather nice. So like I said, I got here in Scotland just as a episode the issue five was still on the newsstands and this week we've got issue number six which this time comes with epic summer gifts we have it's very much uh bb8 heavy we have a bb8 beach ball bb8 frisbee and classic episode four holographic stickers which is all very nice so Quick glance at this, we've got um, 
news show about about the uh, the, the um, a, a Mand a Mandalorian um, a quiz about the Jedi's again this comic strip which I'm assuming is a continuation from the very first issue. Uh, what's your lightsaber style? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Um, I wonder do they have more quizzes, uh, maze, you know, etc. Know your enemy. Okay, saber swap. Two of these Jedi Masters have swapped lightsabers, but which ones? Well, clearly, uh, Qui Gon Jinn never wielded a red lightsaber, so that's one right there. Uh, what's this? Are you a game you play with the dice? Cut out the two. Oh, it's, a, it's the pod race. Uh, of course, it says pod race showdown. So you cut out Anakin and uh, was that was Sibalba, and you roll a dice, and you, whoever gets to the finish first wins. Uh, this was the comic. Let me see if it's the same. Ah, this one is entitled Sabotaged Supplies. But it looks like it's very similar to the last one we looked at. And uh, Word Search. That's a pretty nice uh, cutout poster of the Emperor there. You know, it's nicely drawn. And on the back we have a nice cutout poster again. With uh, Luke facing off against Darth Vader. Um, oh god, focus on BB-8. So that kind of ties in with this, with these gifts. So take a look at these. Um, of them all, I'm looking forward to the frisbee because I used to enjoy playing, playing or throwing a frisbee as a child. A lot of, a lot of good times with that. Damn, these, these things are on pretty tight. Now, clearly this isn't a vintage item, so I'm not too bothered, but I do like to keep as many things in as good condition as I possibly can. So I'm trying to be somewhat gentle. And already I've ripped it, but who cares? Okay, there we go. That's one side off. And this one should, oh, it's beginning to tear. God damn, I don't, actually that's a nice poster, I want to be careful with that. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna get this open from down here. Again, like I said, the technique involved is very much the same technique as we used opening the old kind of figures. This. Like I said in the other issue, I'm, I'm more inclined to say you're buying these items and getting a free comic as opposed to getting a free gift. Let's see. It's kind of like a, a picnic plate. Um, I guess it, it's a very g generic frisbee with a big BB-8 sticker on it. Who knows if that was going to throw well. Next up, we have, I'll get on with tape as well. We have the, what the hell is that? We have the um, holographic stickers featuring most of the characters of episode four and one little rebel uh, insignia there. That's quite nice. These, I imagine these would probably get stuck on school books or something or pencil cases. And last of all we have this BB-8 beach ball which I'm assuming is not a particularly big beach ball. Oh my god it's tiny. Well, that's disappointing. I was expecting a full size beach ball. Um, should I blow this up? I'll try my best. I haven't done that. I've not. It's been a long time since I've blown something. But, uh. Not. Oh, good lord, what the hell? I'm 
my boat did pass out. Give me a moment. I just can't get my mouth around it. Okay, well that is extremely disappointing. Um, it's not even a perfect sphere. And can this go inside? Oh, it does. Okay. There is your free BB-8 beach ball. And this too can be yours for £3.99. But wait, there's more. You get stickers and a frisbee and a comic. This, I'm, a, I'm afraid this is just terrible. The frisbee is probably okay. Stickers are nice. Comic is good. So there you have it. If you live in the UK, you can get yourselves some of these Star Wars Galaxy magazine slash comics. As a child growing up in the 80s, what, maybe seven or eight years old, I would have been all over this stuff. This is exactly what the child I was would have loved. Not so sure about kids in 2019, but that's not my problem. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick review and uh, please do like, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next installment of All Things 80s.